It was a windy, cool day. There was a field full of Iggy's picking wild strawberries. They were so happy, smiling faces and all. Suddenly the sky turned gray and the wind howled even more. The Iggies shivered and their teeth clattered. Suddenly a wave of Indians on horses pounded by and shot all the Iggies. They then poached the meat and left the outside shell of Iggy. A day later, Boob came riding on a golf cart and with a trash picker upper, one at a time grabbed the Iggy skins and loaded them in. He then headed over to Lex Diamond across from Walmart. Boob parked the golf cart in the fire lane because he knew he would be right out. Mr. Leg himself weighed each skin for accuracy on how much he would be given. The man tried saying they were not fully genuine because the Iggy's the first came from were dehydrated, emaciated, malnourished and pale. Boob let out a sigh and agreed, I mean it's free money right? Boob was given a different amount for each butt, but Mr. Leg said there wasn't much to be given. Mr. Leg handed Boob 20 and change. Boob nodded his head and pocketed the cash. After leaving the pawn shop, Boob overlooked the cash he was given. He was thinking to himself that the gas he spent collecting the furs exceeded the amount given. Boob knows deep down that it was an inside job. Boob, loaded himself back into his beat-up, rusty golf cart and started driving. Every time Boob put his foot on the gas the cart made a very loud and obnoxious banging noise. Sparks flew out of the tires as well. Boob drive his clunker to an unmarked building and got out. He entered through a rusty door and inside were a bunch of boob-like creatures packaging, cutting and weighing out eggy meat. Inside it smelled very vile. The meat was purple and had liquid gold blood. The workers used a dirty heroin syringe to suck the gold out. They then injected the liquid gold into small bags to sell so jewelry could be made with them. They continued processing, cutting and weighing the meat. Boob was very pleased with what he saw. As this was going on, there was a Walmart basement jam packed with Iggy's trying to escape. They pulled, screamed, and banged trying to get out. They knew they were being raised for their rare, purple meat and more importantly the liquid gold they had for blood. They did not know what to do, the Iggy's became so scared had they chewed through the iron and steel cages that locked them in. With teeth ground to dust. The Iggy's fled out of the building and started running all over outside. Just as they thought they were getting away, a doped up tall black man with a gold tooth and two foot long dreadlocks gets out of a white car and fishes a net from his trunk. One by one he starts lunging for the Iggy's with a net. The Iggy's know that he's trying to catch them so he can make their liquid gold blood into more gold teeth. The doped up man caught about five Iggy's. The man jumped into his car and the tires squeal because he took off so fast. The five Iggy's were skin alive, and the coats were discarded into the trash. Just then, Boob screeched around the corner with his golf cart and drove up to the dumpster. He used his grabber to carefully grab the Iggy skins out of the dumpster. 